Ladies and gentlemen, the bit of it show. Welcome, everybody. This is Jim Mazziotti, the principal managing broker and franchise owner of Exit Realty Bend in fantastic Bend, Oregon. This is podcast number 66, and today I'm going to talk to you about financial planning and the four reasons to buy a house today. Home ownership will always be a part of the American dream. There are advantages to owning your home, actually educational, health, social-wise, that far transcend any economic impact. However, we want to look at several of the financial advantages of home ownership in today's podcast. So, number one, buying is cheaper than renting. The results of the latest Rent vs. Buy report from Trulia show that home ownership remains cheaper than renting with a traditional 30-year fixed rate mortgage in the 100 largest metro areas in the United States. The report reveals that interest rates have remained low and even though home prices have appreciated around the country, they haven't greatly outpaced rental appreciation. Nationally, rates would have to reach 9.1% for renting to be cheaper than buying. Rates haven't been that high since January of 1995, according to Freddie Mac. Number two, home, home ownership forces you to save. According to savingadvice.com, home, home ownership is a great way to save. Their advice is quite simple. Home ownership is a forced savings account because you own the home. You have no choice. That monthly housing cost has got to be paid no matter what. Home ownership can be an outstanding way to force yourself to be more frugal in the rest of your spending so that you can save and build equity in your home. Number three, home ownership offers several tax deductions. According to the Tax Policy Center Briefing Book, A Citizen's Guide to the Fascinating Though Often Complex Elements of the Federal Tax System, there are several tax advantages to home ownership. So, here are three. One, homeowners who itemize deductions may reduce their taxable income by deducting any interest paid on a home mortgage. Number two, Homeowners who itemize deductions may also reduce their taxable income by deducting property taxes they pay on their homes. And number three, taxpayers who sell assets must generally pay capital gains tax on any profits made on a sale. Number four, experts expect home price appreciation to continue. Every quarter, Pulsnomics surveys a nationwide panel of over 100 economists, real estate experts, and investment and market strategists about where they believe prices are headed over the next five years. Then they average the projections of all 100 experts into a single number. Over the next five years, home prices are expected to appreciate 3.22% per year on average, and to grow by 17.3% cumulatively, according to Pulsnomic's most recent home price expectation survey. The bottom line of all this today is, some are afraid that home values may have already peaked. However, we believe that purchasing a home now will prove to be a sound financial decision for years to come. As Warren Buffett said, When others are greedy, be fearful. When others are fearful, be greedy. Those are great words. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's podcast number 66. My name is Jim Mazziotti. I'm the principal managing broker of Exit Realty Bend in fantastic Bend, Oregon. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, the bit of a show.